Hello friends, now I will be talking to you about acute lymphocytic leukemia, so called ALL. But before I discuss about ALL, let us see what is leukemia. When we talk about leukemia, any leukemia, as per definition, this is the malignant transformation of the stem cells, stem cells in the bone marrow, that is any leukemia. Okay. So, when we are, are talking about acute lymphocytic leukemia in this primarily lymphocytic cells or you can say lymphoid trees are involved, when we were talking of, about acute myeloid leukemia where myeloid trees are primarily involved. Okay. Now, let us see what the age group, usual age group is children between 1 to 10 years is the usual where ALL is involved. Now, we talk about what, what is the working classification in the pathology. We have in the pathology L1 variety, L1 subtype, the small blast cell with scanty of cytopathy. L2 large, they were small cell, large blast with more cytoplasm, here scanty of cytoplasm and the prominent nucleoli. In L3, you get vacuolated cytoplasm. So, what you are seeing scanty cytoplasm more cytoplasm vacuolated cytoplasm, this is the working classification. And remember in all, in all leukemias, whatever we talk about acute or chronic or myeloid or lymphoid, blast cells are seen in the peripheral circulation or in the bone marrow. Well, now we talk about what is the immunological classification or subtype. As for immunological subtype are concerned, we have pre beta, pre B, they are 75 percent, that means pre B, B cell is the most common uh, subtype. T cell 20 percent, B cell 5 percent. Okay. Now, we see the pathology, what we see in the pathology, especially in the peripheral smears we do, uh, do not get any azerophilic granules in the peripheral uh, smear. Similarly, IO rods are not seen. These two are the feature of acute myeloid leukemia. Now, what we get in ALL, we have past positive material in the blast cells and these cells are TDT positive and colla positive. So, colla positive, TD positive and pass positive what we see in, in a case of uh, acute lymphocytic leukemia. Now, let us see what are the clinical features. To understand the clinical feature, because in the bone marrow, abnormal WBCs are proliferating and they occupy the main space in the bone marrow. So, there is large amount of abnormal cells will be there. So, they suppress normal RBCs, the patient has anemia. So, any due to anemia patient develop fatigue. Normal WBCs are also suppressed. So, patient are prone to infection. and normal platelets are also suppressed. The patient has thrombocytopenia, the patient has bleeding tendencies. 
okay in fact these three are seen in acute myeloid leukemia also what else occurs in both aml and all as the bone marrow cells are rapidly multiplying so it expands the bone marrow so in both leukemia patient develop bony tenderness bony tenderness this is also seen so classically when you do the you press the sternum you get sternal tenderness also called bony tenderness what else which is seen more likely in in all testicle infiltration and cns involvement these are more common in all so patient has come to us what else we find we find generalized lymph adenopathy liver is enlarged spleen is also enlarged so this one condition we have hepatosplenomegaly with generalized lymph nodopathy this happen in acute myeloid leukemia also so how to investigate the best initial test is cbc this is the best initial test what you get you get blast cells you get blast cells blast cell lymphoblasts are seen in the peripheral circulation tlc count is definitely high blast cells are seen and there is thrombocytopenia and anemia is there as i discuss so now you want to confirm you can go for bone marrow examination and flow cytopenia this is a very accurate test by flow cytometry you can diagnose specific type of uh, of leukemia and we can also see what antigen cd antigens are represented on these cells okay now the other non specific tests are ldh and uric acid are the other tests that we do right so this how we are going to investigate a case of acute lymphocytic leukemia now once we have diagnosed the case now how to treat in the treatment chemotherapy is the answer for all treatment we give drugs remission now what are the initial drug which we give for remission now what is the meaning of remission you should know remission means removal of 99.9% removal of leukemic cell in the body and also removing of blast cell from the peripheral circulation if this happen then we say patient has go has gone into into remission so what drugs we use commonly used drug are prednisolone donorobicin or vincristine are the usual drug we use other drug we can use are methotrexate or l asparaginase then we also give cns prophylaxis this this can be done by number 1 intrathecal methotrexate or intrathecal sertraline that means we do lumbar puncture and we uh, we put the drug in the csf intrathecal or we can go for cranial irradiation also this is given in all then after that we have various drug to use for consolidation phase and maintenance phase of course we can also go for bone marrow transplantation is the most definite treatment now what are the poor prognostic factors at the time of presentation if tlc count is more than 100000 per ml is a poor prognostic factor age 
बिलो टू ईयर और अब टेन ईयर इज अगेन ए पुअर प्रोनोस्टिक फैक्टर फिलाडेल्फा कोबोजोम विच कैन बी देयर इन अराउंड फाइव परसेंट रिमेंबर फिलाडेल्फा क्रोमोजोम इज नाइन ट्वेंटी टू ट्रांसलोकेशन इट इज सीन इन सी एम एल नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट केसेस ऑफ सी एम एल बट इट इज कैन बी देयर इन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ए एल एल ऑल्सो बट इफ इट इज देयर इट इज ए पुअर प्रोग्नोस्टिक फैक्टर ट्रांसलोकेशन वन नाइनटीन इज अगेन ए पुअर प्रोनोसिस सी एन एस इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज ए पुअर प्रोनोसिक फैक्टर एन एल टू एल थ्री सब टाइप वेर वी वर गेटिंग लार्ज एल टू वॉज अ लार्ज सेल विद मोर सेटोप्लाजम एंड एल थ्री वॉज अ वैक्यूलेटेड सेटोप्लाजम दे आर अगेन पुअर प्रोग्नोस्टिक फैक्टर दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ए एल एल थैंक यू वेरी मच